after understanding birth rates and death rates we are going to understand the age distribution pyramids now what is age distribution pyramid basically aiming at let's uh, first of all analyze its uh, definition what it says that uh, age distribution pyramid is a graphical illustration that shows distribution of various age groups in a given population these two points are to be remembered and this is what is the definition of age distribution pyramid now concentrate on the term pyramid first of all what does a pyramid looks like it looks like this something like this triangular uh, this is what a pyramid is like we study right so prism as you have this is what a pyramid is my way of representing quite vague though uh, what you have to understand in the age distribution pyramid first of all that you are going to represent the population in terms of percentage of individuals belonging to different age groups all right now when i say age groups like Here I am not going to consider 0 to 5 years, 0 to 10 years because we are dealing with ecological aspect basically in human population. It could be quite restrictive where we are dealing with years as much as a, a short span of 5 years. But when we talk about this topic and under it when we study age groups, we have to deal with 3 age groups. One is pre-reproductive. Why I am talking about this thing in terms of reproductive potential because ultimately our aim of studying the entire chapter of human population is understanding the human population growth and density. So growth ultimately occurs with the reproduction process. So we have the first age group that is pre-reproductive which would have the children who have not attained the age of puberty. Secondly, there would be the reproductive age which represents the biotic potential of a given population you have discussed about it while studying carrying capacity and the third one is post reproductive so we are going to deal with these three age groups and understand how this can be represented graphically and then we can understand the shape that comes whenever i'm talking about a growing population that is having a reproductive uh, phase and uh, not phase that is having a good reproductive population and it is using its biotic potential to its best then we have this representation graphical representation of the given age groups that resemble the shape of a pyramid to be talking specifically it would look like a triangular shape now how it looks like we'll discuss it but before that before going to that as we have three types of age groups we have three types of age graphical representations that is age distribution representation of a particular human population the three types are first one is an expanding type of population second one is stable and third one is declining now how do you arrive to conclusion whether a population is expanding stable or declining you need to have a look at the particular uh, at the particular graph or you can say graphical representation that you would arrive to now let us take the example of population of countries like india when we represent it graphically what do we have let this each horizontal bar represent an age group we have such representations these blocks would keep on decreasing and at the topmost level we have the older people you're going up like this do excuse my symmetry doesn't look symmetrical though something like this it would be okay now supposedly this represents the pre-reproductive population this represents the reproductive population and this this particular small zone represents post reproductive so what we arrive to is 
that in case of expanding population, the first case we are discussing, like Indian population, if we are considering countries of the third world, they have this type of age pyramid representation where the young people are plenty in number, all right? And the older ones who have no biotic potential left in them, they have lesser number. So we get to a shape that somewhat resembles a pyramid. Each horizontal bar is representing an age group. So what is the characteristic feature over here that the birth rate is already high first of all as you can see the reproductive people are much more in number than the post reproductive and it is going to increase with time that is why the birth rate being increasing and already high the population is going to expand further and further and that is why we have expanding type of age pyramid for the countries of third world the second type is the stable type in terms of stable type what do we have is that the number is almost equivalent now supposedly this is representing the lowermost age group that means the young infants who haven't reached puberty then we have this and like this this is somewhat stable okay as you can see as much as the number of as much as is the number of the first age group that is pre-reproductive post reproductive uh, reproductive are also almost equivalent that means the reproductive people are keeping a check on the population growth and post reproductive are either less or they would be equivalent so this is something that we talk of and this is stable population distribution okay this is stable population according to the age representation the countries which are developed like USA, Australia, rest of the countries who have uh, enough resources but yet they are keeping a check on their population, they fall into the category of this particular type where their population is stable. Then we come to countries like Japan and uh, the Scandinavian countries where they are paying people to come and in, you know increase their population because the reproductive population is there but the pre-reproductive population is least that means the onus lies on those which are reproductive so th let this be pre-reproductive it is at times by certain authors referred to as bell shape though it doesn't look like bell to me anyways as you can see over here these two these two ones they are reproductive they are too much in number but comparatively they are not having the similar number in the pre-reproductive so these are reproductive and these are post-reproductive as you can see now you can just distinguish how each graph is different from the other one and what is the contributory role of each age group to the growth of population. I have used a simple key for understanding this is pre-reproductive So this is all that is to be understood in terms of age pyramids. As you can see over here, here the birth rate is quite high as compared to the death rate. Here the birth rate and death rate are almost equivalent and apart from uh, the birth and death rate as I talked about the as I gave you the example of developed countries over here emigration and immigration also play an important role and lastly is the declining curve where we have death rate is is or could probably be higher than birth rate 
Now, because this statement is little bit confusing or it could not fall accurate in all cases, so we just ignore the death rate aspect and consider the birth rate. And over here, the birth rate is quite low. In this case, the birth rate is is under control it is regulated and over here the birth rate is quite high and you have to understand this age distribution pyramid from these three aspects and this would help you in understanding the growth curves in a better way